Here's our first multiple similarity example problem from the 2016 AMC 10A. It's a bit wordy, so let me just break it down to get to the meat of the problem. We have a rectangle of side leg 3, and side BC is trisected into the three equal lengths. Diagonal DB is drawn along with uh, line segments AE and AF to intersect at points P and Q. And we're trying to find the ratio of the smaller line segments R is to S is to T. That's basically the essence of the problem. So looking at this figure, we have uh, parallel sides, AD, parallel to BC. And we have some equal angles shown. And uh, that's a good indicator that we have some similar triangles lurking in this figure. And we'll try to use that to solve this problem. So looking at the figure, we notice that uh, triangle DPA is similar to triangle BPE, from which we know that the line ratio DP is to PB, as 3 is to 1. So let's make a little figure to indicate that information. DB point Q, or P, excuse me. And these line segments are in the ratio of 3 is to 1. We have another set of similar triangles. We know that uh, DQA is similar to BQF, from which we know that DQ is to QB, as 3 is to 2 now. So let's make a figure to indicate that. Point Q now, such that these two line segments are in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So that distills all the basic information we can uh, pull out of this figure. And now our task is to try to work out the ratios of these smaller line segments, uh, BP to PQ to QD. And probably the best way to do that is to pick a convenient length for these line segments and just calculate the actual lengths of these three smaller segments and just work out the ratio at the end. That's uh, probably the best way to go at, go at this. Now, uh, a convenient length doesn't really occur to me, so I'll just pick a length of 1 for these line segments and just work off of that. So if the length is 1, I know then that this point P is 75% of the way to B. So this point P, I'll call 3 quarters. And point Q now is 60% of the way to B, so that point is the value 3 fifths. And from that now, we can uh, easily calculate the three line segment lengths. DQ, of course, is just uh, 3 fifths. PB is 1 minus 3 quarters, that's just a quarter. The smaller line segments is 3 quarters, minus three-fifths. See, working out this fraction, 15 minus 12, that's uh, three-twentieths. So the ratio we have now is three-fifths is to three-twentieths is to a quarter. Let's uh, multiply by the least common multiple. So it looks like we just have to multiply all of these by 20 to remove the fractions. That leaves us 12 is to 3 is to 5. And that's a reduced ratio now, and we're looking for the sum, r plus s plus t. So just adding up these three numbers, 12 plus 3 plus 5 is 20. And that's our answer. 20 is uh, choice E. Anyway, a fairly simple problem if you can spot the two sets of similar triangles. Uh, if you can't spot them, uh, coordinate geometry is also a good approach to this problem, and I'll put a link to that in the description. And with that, take care, and uh, I'll see you with the next video. Bye-bye.